If you own a business and you don't have a Google My Business page just yet, you're missing out on so many opportunities out there, especially if you're providing local services. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to create a Google My Business page, or if you already have one, I'm gonna show you how to optimize it so you can get more results out of it. And if you watch until the end, I'm gonna share with you a bonus tip which helped me stand out from my competition and helped me generate more leads and get more clients. I'm Alex from Berlin Digital. We teach business owners and entrepreneurs how to get more out of their website and how to leverage digital marketing in their business. If this is your first time here, click on the subscribe button below, click on the bell icon next to it to make sure you don't miss out on any of our future videos and tips we have to share. So what exactly is Google My Business and why do you want to be there? Well, majority of people, when they need something, they go on Google and search for it. Let's say electrician in Peterborough. That's one of the main reasons why you want to be there, but also because of this. What you're seeing there is a typical result page. So all the way to the top on the first position, you're seeing the Google ads, right? So obviously you have to pay to be there. In the second place, you can see a map with different businesses and contact details and their review. That's basically where you'll find your Google My Business listing. Or you can see it on the right hand side if you search exactly for your business name. And lastly, after that we have lower down at the bottom, we have the search results. These are basically the standard organic results which have always, always been there. Now, leaving the page that's aside, you can clearly see that even Google, by positioning the map with the different businesses above the organic search results, puts more focus on promoting the local businesses. And that's exactly why you want to be there, especially as a local business. That's your way to promote your business, uh, get more exposure much faster, rather than having to try to rank organically in the normal search results. Right, now that we know what a Google My Business is, where it's shown in the search results and why it's important to have one, let's jump into the step-by-step -step guide on how to create one for your business. If you don't have a Google My Business page yet created, I would suggest you take this opportunity to create one and follow along as we go step-by-step. -step. Don't forget that you can pause the video should you need more time. If you're struggling with anything or if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. And just a quick disclaimer, the first time I've tried doing this tutorial, it took me like 45 minutes to record just for this part. Not because this is complicated, but because I talk a lot. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Therefore, to keep this short and sweet, once we get into the actual steps, I won't explain every single option unless you want to be here for another hour. However, I will go through through absolutely everything you need to complete your Google My Business page to make sure you're set up for success. Right, so let's get started. Step number one is to open your browser and go to google.com forward slash business. Now, in order to create a Google My Business page, you do need to, to have a Google account created. If you don't have a Google account created, simply go to gmail.com and over there you will have the option to create a new account. Once you've done that, come back here and this is what you'll see. We'll click on the button to manage now. That leads us to step number two, where we're going to add our business name. So for the, for the purpose of this exercise, I will create a fictitious new business, fictitious. Is that even a word? Well, it is now. So, uh, right, let's type brilliant, brilliant websites, brilliant, brilliant marketing, brilliant marketing. There we go. Brilliant marketing. We choose the first option, create a business with this name and part of the same step. This is where we confirm that this is definitely our business name. Click next. Step number three, choose the right category for your business. So you'll have to think for yourself. If you're an accountant, obviously you'll choose accountant. If you are a financial advisor, you'll choose financial advisor and so on. In our case, we are doing web design. So we'll try to find something relevant to the web design. Website designer in our case, choose that type next. Step number four, this is basically where you can add service to that you're offering. So 
Initially, Google will give you a few examples. If those are relevant to you, just click on the plus button. If they are not, just click on the add custom service button. So we click there. Again, think about your business, what services you're offering, and just list all of them there. In our case, that will be web design. We'll add another custom service, pay monthly websites and that's it for now because I do want to show you once we've completed the profile how you can add more services later on. So click next. This is where we have to choose whether our location of our business has an office or a place that people can visit. Obviously if you're a store, if you're a restaurant, if you have an office that people can come and visit you the option you should choose is yes. If not, if you're a sole trader and you don't want people to come and visit you, you will choose no. For, for the purpose of this exercise, we'll just choose yes. In this next step, this is where we add your business details. Now, if Google recognizes that there might be another business very similar to yours, it will ask you. As you can see here, Google found our original business, Brilliant Digital. It did find that we are based in Pinnacle House and the phone number. So it's just a case of confirming, hey, is this, our, is this your business? It's either yes or no. In our case, we're gonna choose this doesn't match because we do actually want to create a new business from scratch, just so I can show you the rest of the tutorial. Do you also serve customers outside this location? If you're a restaurant, obviously, no, you don't because you want people to come to your restaurant, not the other way around. So that's the option you should choose. If you are a construction company, for example, and you're covering certain areas, let's say London, Cambridge, then you'll have to choose the first option. Because I want to show you the steps for the first option, I'm going to choose that in this case. So now we can actually add those locations. So let's say London. Peterborough, Cambridge, or if you serve the whole country, you can actually do that as well. United Kingdom, United States. There we go. All done. Click next. And this is one of the last steps where you have to add your contact details, your website, if you have a website, and again, click next and finish. Right, before Google can actually publish your page, it will need to verify that you are a genuine business. So this is why it's very important to make sure that your address is correct and you type your uh, name here and you click the mail button. Google will send you a postcard with a code. Once you receive the code, you just have to follow the instructions and go back to profile and verify that code. Only after you'll be able to publish your profile live. For the purpose of this exercise, I will choose more options and click the option to verify later. Obviously, once you receive your card, you'll have to come back here. As you can see here, it says verification needed. Click on verify now button and follow the instructions. Once this is done, you have a Google My Business page created. This is the bare minimum that you should do. However, we don't want to stop there. We want to fill in all the information. The more Google knows about us, the higher the chances that Google will show our profile in front of the right people. This is also what will set us apart from competition as there's so many businesses out there with their profiles half completed. So let's fill in the rest. First thing we want to do is click on this button here on the top left hand corner, it says main menu. And from here we go to info. And from the info, we choose the edit button next to our main category. If there are any other categories that are relevant to your business, you do have the option of adding some additional categories. So let's say if you're an accountant, you have the option of choosing accounting firm, you have the option of choosing uh, certified accountant or public accountant, chartered accountant. If you are a financial services company, I'm sure you'll have some options there as well. In our case, we're a web design company, but we also provide marketing services. So this is where we can choose marketing agency or even marketing consultant. There we go. Once we finish, we click apply. Next step, just double check the areas that you're servicing. So London, Peterborough, Cambridge, United Kingdom. Add the hours. 
that reflect your business when the, when it's open. So let's say Monday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you're probably open Monday to Friday. So just select what's, what's relevant for you. Now, if you're a business that provides emergency services, let's say you're a locksmith or a, a plumber that needs to come during the night to fix something yes you do have the option of choosing 24 hours just so you know so complete the rest of opening hours and once you finished click apply special hours basically this is christmas holidays bank holidays new year's just select the date so let's say we choose we go to december 25th and we'll say we are closed or december 24th and let's say we are open but we are only open for a few hours so we open at 9 a.m but we close at 1 p.m right there we go apply next we have your phone number just double check if it's correct and you do actually have the option of adding an additional phone so this is where you can add your mobile if you wish double check your website Next, appointment links. So if you are someone like ourselves, uh, we use something called Calendly. Uh, it's a software which is connected directly to our calendar and it gives us a link that we can send to clients to book appointments with us. You can actually put that link here and it will show on your Google My Business profile. Next, products. We'll skip this. We'll focus just on the you as a service, especially for local businesses. But obviously, if you're an online shop, feel free to play around with the product section. Services. So this is basically where we've added our initial services. So website designer, web design, and pay monthly websites. And as you can see, because we have chosen two extra categories, marketing agency and marketing consultant, we can add some extra services in those specific sections. So my suggestion would be to add other services you have offering. So let's say in our case, we'll be web design, pay monthly website. But apart from this, we also offer website care plans confirm apply and part of a marketing agency side we offer google advertising and facebook advertising and we also offer digital marketing coaching there we go once you finish completing this, my suggestion is not to stop there. You can actually go into each one of the services and complete the rest of the information. So if you have a price, choose the relevant option, free, fixed, from, obviously add a description. As I mentioned earlier, the more Google knows about you, the higher the chances that Google will show your profile in front of the right people. So you finished click apply and go through all the rest of your services and then on the left hand side go back to info moving on highlights for now you can ignore that business description again a very important part so just type a very very compelling business description about yourself who you are you know what you're offering your basically this is your usp your unique selling proposition how are you different than your competition why should the customer choose you instead of them once you finished click apply opening date it's self-explanatory and the last option that we have here add photos Photos play a very important role in your profile. It makes your profile more trustworthy. So very important, do not ignore this step. As you can see here, there are different tabs. Start from the right with the identity. This is the most straightforward one. This is where you can upload your logo and your cover. So just choose the, click the choose button. And from here, you can select a photo from your computer and then go to your team. This is where you can upload the pictures of yourself or of your team members if you have any pictures from work, pictures from outside your office, inside your office, of course, if you have any videos and that's pretty much it. Right, now that your profile is completed, the last thing I suggest you should do is try to keep it active. As you can see here on the left hand side, there is a post section and same as with social media, this is basically where you can post some updates about your business, promote any offers or promote any events. Once again, by doing this and just being active and posting this on 
regular basis it kind of signals to Google that your business is alive and obviously you will try to show it to the relevant customers when they're searching for it well, if you followed every step in this video, that straight away should put you in a good light in front of your customer and make your business more trustworthy. However, who is one person who can have a bigger influence on your business rather than yourself? Think about it for a second. And if you know the answer, use the comment section below to, to write it down. You ready? Your customer, of course. Google My Business allows your customers to post reviews. Reviews which then can influence others' prospect decision whether to work with you or choose a competitor instead. Think about this for a second. Who would you go with? Would you go with someone who has zero or two reviews or would you go with someone who has 10, 20 reviews? I mean, for myself, the decision is pretty simple. Also, look at Amazon. I mean, they have already proved that people buy based on reviews. So my bonus tip for today is try to get as many reviews as possible on Google. Try to make Google the primary location where you gather all your reviews in business. I mean, I know some people use Yelp, some people use Yellow Pages, but think about where your prospects are going when they're looking for something. Majority of people go on Google, and that's why you want to be on Google, that's why you want to have your Google My Business created, and that's why you want to get as many reviews as possible on Google. And follow up. Getting reviews is not easy. Life gets in the way people forget you won't always be on people's top of their mind so always always follow up to try to get that, that review I know for myself I always try to follow up at least two three times before I uh, before I give up and that's actually one of the reason again looking look comparing to my competition I have a lot more reviews than them I hope you enjoyed this video, click that like button, I hope you got some value out of it, I would really really love to hear your feedback, you know, if, if, let's say if you already had your uh, Google My Business created and you started optimizing it or if this is your first first time creating a Google My Business, please post your feedback and any questions you might have in the comment section below and of course hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, tips and guides on how you can grow your business with digital marketing. Have a great day and see you in our next video.